An arch at the entrance of a entrance to a park can be modeled by a quadratic function where y is the height above the ground level and x is the distance from the left hand side of the entrance. Now imagine this is the arch that we're talking about and this is a park. Uh, so what they're saying is this arch can be modeled by a quadratic equation. So let me draw the x and y axis. So this is your y axis and this is your x axis. So what they're saying is this is suppose this is where the graph, uh, where the arch starts. So this is your origin, which is O. So this is O, which is this is your y axis. Sorry, this is your x axis. So this is your x axis. Oops, <laughs> this is your x axis, and this is your y axis. Okay. So okay, give the equation of the model. That means the equation of the arch. If the maximum height of the entrance is 4.2 meters, this is 4.2 meters, and the maximum height is 3.2 meters. Okay, so width, the maximum width at the entrance. So the, this is, this is a, this is the width, which is 4.2 meters. Hope you can see. So this is, if I draw, let me try to draw. Uh, so this is the arch that we're talking about. Okay, so let me move this. So this is the arch we're talking about. Okay, so this is as perfect as I can draw. Okay, so this is the arch and the maximum height is, or the width is 4.2. So this, you have 4.2 here. So this is zero, uh, this is 4.2 meters. So this is 4.2 meters, and this is zero. And the maximum height is 3.2 meters. So this is 3.2. So this is basically the vertex. So let me draw a, so yeah, the line of symmetry. So let me draw the line of symmetry here. Yeah. So what is this line doing? It is uh, cutting this, uh, uh, parabola into two equal parts. So this point is exactly between these two x-intercepts. So if this is 4.2 and this is 0, this has to be 2.1. Okay, and this coordinate, the coordinate of this point is 2.1, x-coordinate is 2.1, and this is your the maximum height is 3.2. So this is 3.2. So this is just drawing what they have given, we are drawing, we are plotting the points and the numbers in the graph. Now we want to write the equation of this arch, which is a shape of a parabola, where y is the height of the arch and x is the distance from the start. So this is where the, the arch starts. Now to write the equation of any parabola, uh, you have to see three or four things. Now for this parabola, what's happening? Now suppose let me draw the basic parabola y is equal to x squared. So this is a rough sketch of, this is the basic parabola y is equal to x squared. Now all parabolas are transformation of this basic parabola. So when you look at, when you look at this parabola, this, what has happened to this basic parabola, I'll call this the basic parabola. So the basic parabola has flipped over it has gone upside down, it has gone to the right 2.1, it has gone up 3.2, and there's also a stretch factor, okay, so it is pulled by, from both ends. Now to incorporate all these transformation, uh, one of the simplest way of writing all transformation is right like this, so y is equal, to, I'll write, first write the equation, then I'll explain, so this is a times x minus 2.1 squared plus 3.2. Now this incorporates all the transformation that has happened, okay? Now this minus, minus 2.1 is telling me the parabola has moved to the right. So I'll draw an arrow here. So this minus means it has gone 2.1 to the right. 
and this plus tells me the parabola has gone up okay so this parabola has gone 2.1 to the right and it has gone 3.2 up so th these are these for those two transformation you do minus 2.1 squared plus 3.2 now what is this a sitting there for this is to this a would be minus because I know it has flipped over so this a has to be minus and this also takes care of the stretch factor okay so there are two ways in which you can pull if you pull this parabola it will become leaner suppose this suppose y is equal to 2x squared may look like this suppose some this is only a sketch let me draw it better y is equal to 2x squared may look like this so this is this has got a stretch factor of 2 so for this equation maybe y is equal to 2x squared so here we can say this 2x squared sorry y is equal to 2x squared is this parab basic parabola has been pulled up or it can also be pushed down so it'll be a flatter parabola suppose this suppose a parabola looks like this I can say I don't know the equation but I can say y is equal to x squared over 2 x squared so when you're dividing by number the parabola becomes flatter so if you do x squared divided by 2 this parabola uh, I'll show this later on a okay let me show you now itself so this is my graphic calculator if you go to graph and type in say y is equal to x squared this is your basic parabola okay now if you multiply by 2x squared if you multiply this if this number if you're multiplying by 2x squared what will happen see what's happening so this is the inside this is the 2x squared parabola and what if I do x squared divided by 2 this can be explained in different ways so this is the graph of y is equal to x squared divided by 2 this is y is equal to x squared and this is y is equal to 2x squared okay so let me come back to the question so this will tell me two things this I know would become should become negative and it is it will also tell me whether it is pulled it seems to be pushed to both ends it's not pulled it has become fatter so this will be a number uh, less than less than one okay I'll come to that later so this is now you just figure out what is a now okay now how can we do that for that we need to find one point which can be plotted into this equation so you can plot this point or this point into this equation you can't plot this point if you put this point this will become the whole thing will become zero so you can take any of this zero zero or uh, 4.20 so I'm going to take the easier point which is x when x is 0 in this parabola we know y is equal to 0 my pen is playing up so when x is 0 I know y is equal to 0 I'm going to substitute this back into this equation and find the value of a so I can say 0 is equal to a times this is 0 minus 2.2 1 squared plus 3.2 so now you can use the calculator but I know this is 0 is equal to a times this is minus 2.1 squared which is 4.41 you can use the calculator I'll show this on the calculator later on plus 3.2 so I'm going to take away 3.2 from both sides if I take away 3.2 from this side I have to take away 3.2 from this side. So these are two sides of the equation. So this will become minus 3.2 is equal to uh, this and this gets cancelled. You got 4.41a. Okay. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 4.41. So your a is minus 3.2. I will leave this as uh, divided by 4.41. I want the exact number. I'm going to say this is as A. I'll use the graphic calculator to save this as a letter A. Okay. Okay, so let me get my calculator. So this is my calculator. Go to run. 
So minus 3.2 divided by 4.41. Okay, that's what number? That is this minus zero, and that's what I told you. It has to be negative and a number between uh, less than zero or between zero and one. So uh, I'll save this so you can press this arrow key and then you go alpha A. That will save that as this number. Okay, so I have saved this. So my equation will become, so I can write the equation. So that's the first question. You have to write the equation. Uh, yeah, that's what we want. So y is equal to minus 3.2 divided by 4.41 times x minus 2.1 squared uh, plus 3.2. So let us check this on the calculator, whether it work, works or not. So on the calculator, I'm going to type in like this. So menu, I'm going to run. So you can type in this or A in place of this. So let me delete this. Uh, delete yes and delete yes. Okay. So let us type in alpha A uh, bracket X minus 2.1 squared plus 3.2. Just to check whether we can. Now we have to change the setting. So we have to go to your shift F3. And I'll go from zero to say phi scale of 0.5. Don't change the dot. I'll go from 0 to, say, 5 would do, scale of 0 0.5, and then draw it. There we go. So this is your arch. And to check the maximum, this point, your maximum should be 2.1, 3.2. So you go G, Sol, and maximum. So exactly you got 2.1, 3.2. And your x-intercepts are the roots. So one is 0, 0, and the other point should be 4.20. Okay, so our equation is right. So we can be happy. So we can give ourselves a smiley face. Okay, now the next question is there's a bar at the height of two meters across the entrance. How long is the bar? Oops, I don't want the smiley face. How long is the bar? So this bar is at a height at a height of two meters across the bar. So yeah, this is the arch. So let me delete this whole thing. So we don't want this. Okay, so what are they saying? They're telling us there's an arch or there's a bar at a height of two meters. So roughly two meters, where would two meter come? So this is your two meters here, not drawn to scale. And there's a bar there. Okay, so let me draw the bar like this. So there is a bar like this. Okay, so this is this height. So let me show you this. So this height is given to be, uh, let me draw this. This is given to be two meters. Okay, and this is also two meters. So they're telling you this is two meters. Obviously, this is also two meters. So we know the x coordinate and we want to find these two points. So we'll call this say, x1 and this we'll find x2. We'll say this is x2. So if you can find x1 and x2, the width, that's what we want to find, how long is the bar. So the length of the bar would be x2 minus x1. x2 minus x1 would give us the length of the bar, x2 minus x1. Oops, this is playing up. I'll write again, try to write x2 minus x1. That's what we want to find. Again, we're going to use the graphic calculator to figure this out. So basically, we want, we have the y value. We have, to, we have the y, this is your y. You want to find the x calc. So calculator, and then you go g sol. <clears throat> you want to find the x calc. So they're asking me what's your y value, <coughs> excuse me, two. So your first value is 0 0.81. I'll say this is your x1. So let me write that. So when y is equal to two, 
So we have got y is equal to 2. So x1 was 0 0.81. So at, at 0 0.81, you get, and what is x2? x2, so again, let me get the calculator. And you go replay, press this. It is 3.39. x2 is 3.39 in 2 dp. So the x2 is 3.39. So you can see the length of the bar would be x2 minus x1, which is, this is 8, this is 5, so it is 2.58 meters. The length of the bar would be 2.5 meters. Or even by using symmetry, you can say this is half of 2.58. So this is, you can also use symmetry to figure out this.